Well, good morning, everybody. How are you? Hello. Hope all is well. As you can see, we've been working with Kevin, making progress, getting a lot more done. But today, we're going to get a lot done. Uh, my good friend Floyd, a.k.a. Gate Smasher, and Miss Julie, a.k.a. Stats, uh, they're on the way right now. Today, we are going to go ahead and get this cut out, framed in, and put this door in. And then when I got Gate Smasher here, I'm going to have him help me put up the sheetrock on the seal here, except for the little there in the middle, where I'll, or maybe, I don't know, depends how the day goes. But uh, that is the goal today, to get this door in. Now that we're going to buy a door frame, buy a doorknob, and uh, yeah, once we get all that, we're good to go. So get ready, set, go. One of the things I've been talking about is getting the rest of these windows lined in with the, um, the what do you call it, window seal, I guess. As you can see, started over here. Uh, it's time to go ahead and get these cut and put into place so that uh, they'll both be done and then they will both look like this one. So here it is. Here it is, here it is. This is what this stuff is for, so. Measure three times, cut once. Or just guess. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna guess on that. Sheetrock I'd guess on just because I know a good sheetrock guy, or a drywall guy, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and measure these windows up and get these marked and cut. Cool thing about it, we'll go ahead and use our tape from yesterday, you remember? Leave a comment, where did this tape come from? Did you see that part or did you fast forward? So he has a bottom over there, we're gonna get the bottom measurement first. This is a fan box, I'm gonna put that in too. Alright, let's see what we got here. Man, that's two foot on the dot. Two foot on the dot, 24 inches. Alright. I'm gonna run and grab the uh, square. I got a pencil that is square and a saw. Oh, I think there's a saw back here. Oh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Got a square, got a pencil, got a saw. Take it right to 24 inches. I cut it what we call fat, heavy on the heavy side. That way, if I got to trim, I got to trim it a little bit. There we go. Alright, see if it fits. It's gonna be close. Well, let me clean the windowsill first. Moment of truth. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. So it hangs out a tad, but looks like I need to trim a quarter inch off so it's not sticking out right there, which won't be too bad. I'll have to, I'll have to rip it across the back. Let's go and do that. Let's trim that off. Oh, where are you at? There you are. Oh, there it is. Were you even seeing anything? Got it cut. Boom, nice and flush. I'll caulk all that once I get the rest of it in, so. 
All right, let's keep it moving. My guess is the top's gonna be about the same. I mean, that would make sense, but we're gonna measure it anyway, just to be sure. Two foot of this, two foot, go heavy. Heavy on the two foot. These cobwebs. I went heavy so I can hopefully wedge it in here. Too heavy. A little too heavy. See what you got. Oh yeah. Oops, don't hit the hard. Man, it's just a little right here. I need to trim it. It's flush right here. I might even be able to float that out actually. So I trimmed a little bit of it and voila. That. Now I'll nail it up in there. Done. Uh, this measurement is next. Where are we at? 34 and a quarter. I'll go just a little bit high than 34 and a quarter. I know it's pretty close. All right, 34 and a quarter. Take a little bit off. I don't think this should work. Well, I didn't show you, but I put it in. <laughs> one less, and then this window seal is done. Did I say one less or one left? I had to watch it when I edit. I, thought, I think I said one less. One left. Oh, well, then I got that window over there. Look, I'm measuring more than once just to make sure. That was 34 and a quarter. Go a little high. Huh. The last time I'm at 34 and a half. And uh, I had to shave a little bit because I said 34 and a quarter. So we'll go ahead and go 34 and a half again because if you like, I'll go 34 and a quarter and it won't fit. Oh, look at that. Double check. Oh, I can wedge it in there. I think I can. Gonna need to trim it though. Yeah, definitely gonna need to trim it a little bit, but that's all right. We can do that. <laughs> Go figure. My battery died, but I only had that much left to cut. Uh, we'll let it charge for a few, then we'll finish that one up. But as I'm uh, letting the battery charge, uh, again, I just want to, just, I can't express our thanks enough for everybody uh, supporting Julia's channel. I mean, it's just rocking and rolling. Uh, the next one is Tostada. So, Tostada is one of my favorites. That's going to be on the next uh, What You Cooking, Julia. So, again, if you ain't subscribed, you better get over there. Uh, we're going to be doing all kinds of fun stuff with cooking. And, uh, and so it was really cool because some of you viewers out there were, you know, had said you'd never, never thought about baking shrimp before. So now you're going to try to bake it. Uh, some people never knew where to start with shrimp and grits, and now they got that. So, again, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to uh, uh, show you guys our ways. You guys send us your ways. And we just kind of have all kinds of this, uh, what do you call it, a smorgasbord of cool cooking episodes with really good food. So, once again, thank you so much. And, uh, man, I wonder what Julie's cooking tonight. What you cooking, Joy? I'm the type of guy who's very, very impatient. So I'm gonna charge about maybe a minute. Hope that'll get enough to get this out. Yeah. Oh. Alright, let me wait. I forgot I had another battery. Let's see. And I took my shoes off because because uh the grass is wet, my shoes aren't waterproof, so they get uh Wet, my feet are all wet, and so. That's all I need was that. So 
So we are about to finish this one out. Now we'll tape around the edges and mud it, float it, and be done with it. Well, of course, I'll finish nail it. You know, I'll, I'll put some nails in it to finish nail it. So, yeah, I will do that. Don't worry. Now all we got three more pieces to cut. Hopefully I have enough. So one up top, two on the sides. Well, I might as well tape it first. My glasses. I need my glasses. Can't really see much of nothing on my glasses. Everybody see, I'm going to go get some real glasses. Bring that out a little bit, actually. And I'll caulk all that. Um, actually, we'll mud, we'll mud it. Hold on. I need something else. All right, we got it fixed. And we are going to tape it. Yes, once I nail it in, it might just a little bit, but really, I, don't, I really probably don't even need this tape, but we're gonna tape it anyway. Here's this one as you've seen it in all its glory. Uh, the phone was charging, but pretty much I was doing the same thing over here. And you can just only imagine, same thing, just a little bit bigger. But uh, we got it all framed out. And uh, now I just gotta nail it around with a finish nail. Actually, with this right here. This uh, finish gun right here. Thanks to Gate Smasher. Speaking of which, Gate Smasher texted and said they're running late. So they're not here yet, but it doesn't matter because uh, the day today is just planning on working in the cabin. Uh, hopefully, get that door completely installed. So that's gonna be awesome. And uh, stick around, have some fun. Leave a comment. What, what you think so far? Um, the window seals, not bad, right? I mean, hey, all this stuff was already here when I got the thing, so I'm just utilizing it, and uh, it's definitely helping out. Okay, so since uh, gate smashing and run a little bit behind, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this insulation out and kind of get an idea. As you can see, where there used to be a window there, but he came in and blocked it all out. So again, we're gonna have to cut all this out. We have to widen it up to uh, to fit the door and all that. So let's just get this insulation moved. Leaving that up there because the top of the door is only going to be up right here. Actually, we're cutting it. I think it's going to be somewhere. Yeah, hold it up right there. So we'll be basically putting in another header here. Will be the thing. So obviously, we're going to be removing this power outlet. Now I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with it from there. So I'm gonna pull the game box off. I'm gonna start taking some of these out. Um, let's just kind of get started. Again, so I was wondering what I was gonna do with this. It's wired from that outlet to here. I'm actually probably just gonna shoot this outside and put an outlet outside. I think it's probably what I'll do with this this power source. And that'd be good because when we build the back porch, we'll have power out there. A second thought, I'm gonna go ahead and wait. I'm taking anything out. I've never put in a door before, so uh, Gate Smasher luckily has. He's built many, many homes, and so therefore, uh, that's why it's good to have his uh, expertise. So I'm just going to hold off, because I know I'm going to have to cut the drywall back in different spots, but for the most part, I'm just going to wait until he gets here and then uh, get a game plan from there. But meanwhile, I guess I can start hooking up some of these other outlets, get that done. These wires here, back on the they, all, they all get stripped, and they all get put together. Black, black, white, 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 put back in the wall, and this gets capped over. This is basically a junction box that feeds the house, or feeds the rest of the house. It don't feed the rest of the house, it feeds, the way Sean explained it to me, basically do that, and then it's good to go because the way it's all wired. He's the one that tracks it all down and figure it all out, so we're going to get this done. Alright, so basically now we're going to put 
them all together. Let me shorten this one up. So here they all are. Three whites, three blacks, three neutrals. I'll twist them together and then cap them off. I actually need some pliers. And always spin them the direction you're going to be spinning the, the wire cap, obviously. Tight. Ah, one done. All right, there we go. That's it. Hold them back up, stick them in the wall, and then put a plate on it. There we go. Obviously, I got a lot more finishing to do around this light socket, but that's done. That's done. I got to put one down there. Switches on. That's in. So just this, uh, this one down here, and then this room will be done. So, white, light, black, uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter, but I'm going to call Sean. I'm pretty sure, but I want to double check. Um, I'm just going to call Sean, the Sean Goodman, and uh, see to make sure I do this right. But again, I'm, I'm pretty sure, but it's better to measure twice and cut once, right? Especially with electric. Oh, all right, so I stopped on the outlet. I called Sean. Um, had a good conversation. We're going to be uh, getting together soon for the, uh, the Travis Goodman show. But, um, but yes, yeah, so I, I was right on what I was thinking. So I'll get back to that. But meanwhile, I'm going to go get this cleaned out. And then I'm going to start getting this, this sheet rock moved over. Get the used stuff over there. Get the new sheets here. And go ahead and get the measurements for the ceiling back there. That way I can get that one side cut. We we'll use another full sheet on this side. Then I'll just have the middle where I'm going to do the attic. I'll figure that out once I get there, so let's start cleaning. So I guess I put everything on it and now I gotta take it off. Move it twice, Travis. <laughs> Move it twice, Travis. Kinda like uh Travis of all trades, man. I like that. That was pretty good. That was pretty entertaining. So toss all that there for now. Once again, gloves are always appreciated. It's awesome having oh, my name in the camera. It's awesome having several pairs. Uh, but yeah, just so you know, again, and now when I get through the day that it actually wears through, I can just get another pair. So uh, thanks again to all you viewers that uh, that help support the channel and send in things that, that really help us out and uh, saves us some funds because uh, like uh, like a lot of us, you know. Every little bit counts right now, especially with the, uh, you know, nowadays, just... milk is freaking ridiculous. Oh yeah, these are nice. A lot of times they're tight when I get them on, because you know, when they're new, but after I start working on them, they stretch out and they're pretty, pretty, pretty good. And uh, so, oh, uh, you know how hard it's going to be to get off to, uh, Stop. <laughs> so this this right here is designed for tile. Come and find out. So if you're putting tile in your bathroom, this is the sheet rock you put down first. They call it dirt rock. But if we're not doing tile. I have all this dirt rock that I don't need. <laughs> so, it's heavy. It's like a rock sheet.
Just uh, get some some old drywall over. I'm actually going to try and utilize the old drywall before I use a new one. It looks like this piece, all I did was cut out the holes. And I'm going to stand up and see, but it looks like that's all I did to that. So that would be one we're going to use. Oh, yeah. So uh, we'll use this one. Even though it's been used, it's been trimmed down. I think I'll use this one. Um... Because there's some new ones under there, but if I can save those and use those for the new, the other, uh, the, the washroom, I'm going to do that. So, actually, yeah, can I get this in there? Jack floor a lot. These flops. Pretty... So yeah, this sheet, we'll just pick up like this, take it all the way over there, put it up against the ceiling. I'll probably have to trim it down a little bit. But um, other than that, and then uh, I'll just obviously fix the holes in the wall. I don't know what I was, I was doing out with my hand again. All right, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this measurement here for this piece, and then uh, cut it out of that old piece in there. And then uh, we can put this up too. It'll be pretty easy. And then I'll put the insulation, roll it back from that middle hole. So why not go ahead and use this, right? So I this top edge, which is good. Again, I'll fix any holes or dents. I'll go ahead and get tape measure. I need that. And we'll make a measurement. Three quarter. I'll measure the other end right here. Twenty nine. I say twenty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Three quarter. So basically, it's going to go flip flop. So this side be twenty nine. Three quarter, and that'll be oh no, twenty nine and twenty nine. Three quarter down there. Oh, all right, let's do it. There might be a slight change of plan. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Um, <laughs> the she rock is up a little bit, and it, I stepped on it and did that. Maybe, I was making sure I was recording right away. But uh, yeah, so I'm waiting here back from Josh. Uh, he might be coming over to mow the yard. As you can see, the yard's just, oh, I think the light's bad that way too. The yard's really bad. Not bad, but high. Uh, hopefully, he'll be able to do it. He said um, he has the girls with him, so that'd be cool. So there might be a... Quick halt on this. Gate Smasher and Stats, um, they woke up late and um, I'm not sure where they're at. That's how cool it is with adventures with them. So uh, go check out their channel if you haven't been over there. Be sure to uh, uh, go uh, give them a follow and like. And uh, yeah, they were actually at the uh, at the, the Heart Springs where we go to and check out the uh, the river. So uh, yeah, anyway, well, when it does get here, we're going to figure out what we're going to do with that back door. I'm thinking because it's getting later in the day, we might just, and, and now the change of plans with Zoe, and uh, Lauren possibly coming and Josh Miller in the yard is that um, we'll just kind of get a, a game plan, get every all the material list for everything we need for the door measured out. Not necessarily cut it open today because it, again, it's getting late in Florida. This time of year, you never know with thunderstorms. But anyway, right now, I think I'm going to grab my weed eater and start doing some weed eating. That way, uh, it'll be better once Josh gets here. Yeah, I mean, it's hot, but I got to get it done, right? And like that, we're over here in Zoe's neighborhood. Uh, that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do real quick is uh, get this tidied up because uh, it has been a bit since I've been in here because uh, she's been going to school. So therefore, uh, I kind of let this grow and plus I ain't got a mower. So but I got the weed in here. Are you ready?
Well, that wasn't, that wasn't good. And now it's gonna be weird because I started recording this way. I stood it up and when I reversed it in the editing program, I wonder what it's gonna look like. It's funny. All right, I gotta blow up the pad. I gotta do a little bit more over there. I probably start burning some of that stuff as well. But yeah, blow off the slide and then uh, swing's good. Um, oh yeah, look at the tears. Wow, I need to go knock that down, don't I? <laughs> this is what I was talking about with these trees. Uh, they don't die. They just keep growing. up here in a while. Man, it's so nice. Hay feels really looking good. <laughs> yes, I know. I haven't fixed the holes again. Like I said, Zoe's been going to school, so uh, Zoe's neighborhood kind of just got put on hold just a little bit, but as you can see, it looks beautiful. Oh, was that even pointing the camera at me? It looks beautiful as ever. We're going to hang your sign if they come. I'm hoping they come. I'm, uh, I haven't heard from Josh, but they will come after he picks them up from school. So, yeah. So this is good for now. We'll uh, we'll continue on. And for those of the new subscribers. If you don't know anything about the terrace, you all need to go back and watch the videos of the terrace. Bro. Oh. Did you see their swing? Pretty cool, huh? Some of you might not have seen that yet. Man, oh man. I forgot how much fun it was over here. I forgot the blower. Better get the blower. Better get the blower, Willis. Oh, I didn't even show you the field. Here, check this out. We'll go ahead and climb up the rocks. The rock climber things. I gotta clean up the eye some. Looks nice though. So when it rains a lot, uh, you know, the stuff grows quick. So I got two, yes, I know, but it won't take long. I'm gonna pick up some of the butterflies so I don't knock those over. Oh, them right here. Uh, make quick work of this, it won't take long. Quick little cleanup. Obviously, all the stuff will die and turn brown, and then it won't look so messy. Cool thing about the butterflies, we can always put them somewhere different. I like putting them in clusters, and you can see them more. Yeah, so you got. Get 
some of this out of here. Yeah, I'll come over with the blower and blow it all out too. Same thing with the bottles. There's a bunch of old bottles I found. Same thing up in there. So everybody knows, I, I was telling you, uh, I believe on yesterday's video about, uh, we were going to show you what, what we've been doing with the flags you all have been sending. And uh, that's so cool, so so thankful. Uh, and again, this, is, <laughs> this goes to show you as to how I'm strung out a lot of, a lot of jobs. But uh, as you can see over there, kind of the, the, the weeds and grass grow so quick. And that's what I'm about to do right now. Before I pick it all up and then clean it all up and then put it back, I'm going to show you what it is. So it's actually right here behind us or behind me. I know. Don't. Don't. Uh, don't. Uh, I know. I'm about to clean it up, so don't worry. What happened was when I before they brought the uh, the cabin, I wanted to get the rocks uh, as much as I could, and I didn't put no paper down below this uh, to keep the weeds from going up. So that's why it's like that. And that's literally about a week's worth of time. But as you see, uh, we got all the butterflies down here, uh, the flags. I'm gonna. I want to. Again, I'm gonna make something. I want to. I don't like them. No disrespect. But I don't like them touching the ground. Um, but that's the only way we can do it right now that's because that's the way it is but i'm going to make something for that uh but yeah so this is how it is um pretty pumped i believe uh i believe somebody in the comments said there's another i can i don't know if i was in the camera it's probably talking about my in the camera my head in it but um somebody comment said they're sending one i believe from delaware but again thanks everybody for doing that hope you enjoyed today ah still waiting on the stats i'm not sure where they're at uh, uh gate smasher uh again they <laughs> They have lots of fun journeys. You never know what body of water they're going to be on or where they're at uh, as they uh, continue to get their house built here in Florida. And so, um, yeah, well, maybe we'll see them, maybe we won't. But until next time, have fun, laugh a lot, and uh, just smile.